guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We are still here in Asheville, North Carolina for the media launch of this vehicle right here. And this is the one that General Motors thinks is gonna be the hot trim. What is it? This is a 2024 Chevrolet Trax. This particular one is a RS. But before we get into this cayenne orange, that's the name of the color, cayenne orange, all new redesign of the tracks. Let's talk about what's going on here. The auto industry is changing. It's changing in many different ways, from electrification, from prices of vehicles. And that's one thing that Chevrolet really wanted to focus on with the tracks is price. Now, they don't make the Chevrolet Cruze anymore, which was their compact sedan. They don't have the Chevrolet Sonic or Spark. So the Trax is now not only the gateway vehicle into Chevrolet, but really the gateway vehicle into General Motors. Now, going more the crossover SUV segment rather than sedan makes sense because crossover SUVs and SUVs in general are just still selling super well. But when you look at all the brands and what they're producing and providing per category of SUV, it's quite interesting. So in this subcompact, even though the Trax has grown in size, it's still considered a subcompact crossover SUV. You got vehicles like the Nissan Juke, of course, the Toyota Corolla Cross, the Hyundai Kona, and I think one of the biggest competitors that it's gonna have to face is the Honda HRV, which is also redesigned. So let's go ahead, let's dive into this Chevrolet Trax RS. I wanna show you specifically for this first drive, what is the difference when you go Rally Sport, which is what RS stands for, and also, is it better than the HRV? So let's go ahead, let's dive in and find out. Right off the bat, you're still gonna get those same great overall dimensions. It's longer by almost a foot. It's got a wider track. What that means is, is the space in between the front wheels and the rear wheels, and then it's got a longer wheelbase. So what does that mean? There's more space between the front wheel and the rear wheel from the side of the vehicle. Now, when you go RS, RS stands for Rally Sport. It's always been an appearance thing not a performance thing like super sport. So what do we got going on? You're gonna of course have those LED daytime running lamps. I'm digging how they match a lot of the other Chevrolet products in the lineup, LED headlights. And then one area which I wish they would have done something a little bit more is maybe did some lights in this lower area. You do have what appears to be a fake vent. So I'm gonna zonk that, especially on the RS. I feel like that was one extra area where maybe some LED fog lamps would have helped, kind of just gave it that little extra something something at the front end of the vehicle. Now, when we come across the grill, this is the big differentiator, depending on what trim you go with. And remember, it starts with LS and it goes up to 2RS, which is what this is, because there's a 1RS, and I'll talk more about that when we get to the interior, and also the active trim. So you're gonna get this gloss black grill, unique to the RS, I love the badge. Chevrolet does some of the best badges, especially when you look at RS on the different models that Chevrolet sells. You got your blacked out bow tie, you got some cayenne orange sprinkled in there, and then on the lower portion, it's gonna finish up with some gloss black and some flat black. The great news is functionality both in the middle section and on the bottom, and you can see that wider space in between the front wheels. That means it has that wider track, and they really did a great job of just with the overall dimensions of the vehicle from the previous generation tracks. Now, when you get up onto the hood, no matter what trim you go with, it always has the same bold new style hood Nicely done with the indentations on the sides. Little peek in the center, but why don't we take a peek around the corner here because this is another big differentiator. So when you go to RS, these are the wheels that you have. 19 inch wheel. This is the largest wheel available on the tracks. Smallest is gonna be 17 inch. And then if you look at like the active, the active has those gloss black 18 inch wheels. Now, if you have not seen my active, walk around review, I'll leave the link of that one 
at the end of this first drive. That was the first look. This is the first drive in this RS. So nicely done, 19 inch wheel, machine aluminum with that metallic gunmetal gray finish. And if you're wondering, well, what's the size of the tire? 245 on the width, 45 series sidewall. And what's nice is, is with that little bit extra bit of rubber, you're actually gonna get better grip and traction. Wait until we take this for a little on throttle spin through the twisty bits of Nashville. Now all the trims, have the flat black. Let me know how you feel about this, if this should be a zonk, if maybe you're thinking that the RS trim should have maybe the gunmetal metallic gray from the wheels or body colored. Let me know in that comment section. If you're thinking about the HRV, HRV a little bit smaller than this track, tracks, and the HRV, the largest wheel you could get is an 18 inch wheel. And that's on the sport trim, which would be comparable to the RS. Now, when we come down the side, gloss black on your mirror caps and then going from the mirror caps up top you are going to have your gloss black roof rails you could get your accessory crossbars and what's great is is that general motors and chevrolet has a bunch of different accessories that you could put on your tracks to really make it unique and special to whatever you want to want it to look like or also whatever your needs are color match on the door handles flat black on the lower sill just like the other trims. And like I said, wheelbase is longer, definitely longer than the HRV. Now working our way towards the rear, love the way they styled this portion because you have a body line going up into the rear quarter window, but then you have a body line, very bold one that comes into the rear taillights. Swinging it around back, I'm gonna have Steven kind of show how it has that nice flared fender look. Definitely has more of a purposeful look to it, not only compared to the HRV, but definitely compared to the previous generation tracks. They went a simple route on the taillight, but you know what? It's working. I don't mind it so much. And you do have a little bit of fake vent to match the fake vent up front. Let me know if you're gonna zonk those in the comment section. Love the way they did the low roof spoiler. And then it's got that nice dip in the center. Very stylish. Blacked out on the tracks badge because this is the RS. And then you also get an RS badge on the rear lift gate. Going all the way down to the bottom, same story. Gloss black on the lower rear bumper, specific to the RS. The one zonk I gotta give is for this fake vent. No need for it. Should have just made it smooth or taken this part and brought it right to the flat black area. But while we pop the hood, talk horsepower of the Trax RS. All right guys, you got the hood popped. You do have a prop rod. The HRV has a prop rod underneath the hood is that turbocharged power plant. Now, it's not a turbocharged inline four cylinder, it's a turbocharged inline three. So it's a 1.2 liter turbocharged engine, made it to a six speed traditional torque converter automatic transmission, 137 horsepower, 162 pound feet of torque. Zero to 60 has been dropped by a second from the previous generation. Zero to 60 in about nine seconds. The vehicle weighs 4,145 pounds, MPGs, 28 in the city, 32 on the highway. If you're comparing it to the HRV, close in the amount of horsepower, different way of getting that power delivery. And then remember, the HRV does have a CVT. But while we go ahead, let's fire this up and see it go down the road. All right, guys, we're inside this 2024 Chevrolet Trax 2RS. I'm gonna explain what that means in a second. Now, you might be saying, well, Joe, I'm looking for a smaller vehicle. I'm looking for something that has some sport. I'm looking for something that drives well and has good fuel economy, but I don't wanna spend more than $30,000. How much is this? Well, guess what? It's your lucky day. Even though this is the 2RS, which is the higher RS trim, there's an, a 1RS, which comes with things like cloth interior, smaller infotainment system. This is a 2RS, so you're gonna get a little bit more. You're looking at MSRP of $24,995. Let's see how it stacks up to the mighty Honda, to the door panels. I like the way they kept it simple. You have just all black material. The red contrast stitching is part of the RS package, and you have that leather 
style material in the midsection. Even the way that they did that nice dark metallic gray finish with the texture there, that triangle texture, very, very uh, kind of modern without being too gaudy. The armrest though is the biggest zonk ever. It's just a block of hard, almost like rubber. Not my favorite and definitely not somewhere I want to put my arm. But the door pocket is big enough for a nice hot and spicy from Arby's and also a big milkshake, banana milkshake to wash it down. You could probably even fit a package of Prilosec in there because you're probably going to need it after eating all that. Now going from the door panel to the dash, I love the way they did the AC vents. Bringing the roundness to it, you do have that nice anodized, almost looks like anodized aluminum, not only on the center section, but all the way around. And then it continues. There's our RS, remember, Rally Sport with that little checkered flag thing going on. You do get a bit of gloss black over the other trims, but it's not too, too crazy. What is crazy is you're getting an 11 inch infotainment system screen, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, very intuitive, very easy to use, and not a bunch of icons all over the place. You could pull up your driving information. They even have auxiliary gauges. The voltmeter, your coolant temp, very, very nicely done, very simple. Throw it into reverse, nice clear resolution. I guess it would be a, a little nicer if it took up more of the 11 inches, but the res resolution with the trajectory is unbelievable out of this front wheel drive vehicle put it back in the park and we're right back where we started. You have your basic but straightforward AC controls, temperature with a nice digital readout and your blower fan. You got three stages of heated seats, no ventilated seats. And then down below you have a 12 volt, you have a USB-A, USB-C and a place for eight Twinkies. Very nicely done. This is gonna control that six speed automatic with the RS badge and the red stitching. Little bit of silver, little bit of black, two cup holders. Here is your Chevrolet key fob. Would have been nice if they put an RS badge there, but you do have remote start. You could easily put, I would say in this little section, probably four packages of Lunchables. So if you're on the go and you want to kind of, I don't know, reminisce and, and be like it was when you were a kid, since this is about being a little sportier, a little younger and hip and cool, you can have your Lunchables there. I know Steven loves the Lunchables, so that would make him very happy. Four packages is quite a bit of Lunchable. Nice high armrest. The Zonk is, it's made out of this rubber and not my favorite. Open it up. You have plenty of storage in there. You could actually fit, I would say, 12 packages of Crayola crayons. Now, not the 64 box, like you were jealous of that kid back in elementary school. It had the sharpener on the back, but you could get 12 standard size boxes, and here's the thing, here's a little tip from Rady's Rides to you. If you're ever stressed out, maybe your boss has been yelling at you, causing you all sorts of headaches, maybe your kids have just been really just making you wanna pull your hair out, take the crayons, open up a fresh box, and smell them. Believe it or not, psychologists say, researchers say that the smell of the crayons will actually lower your stress level and your blood pressure because it will remind you of an easier, better time when you were younger and you used to color. Nobody colors when they're mad. If you were, I wanna hear from you. Seats, love the RS embroidery, the leather style material, the red, the piping, really did a great job to make these seats look super high end. Now you do have manual controls for the passenger and manual controls for the driver in the two RS. I wish they would have gave me an at least a four way electric seat over here for the driver. And then the other thing that might bother you, it doesn't bother me, no sunroof. But why don't you come over to the business end, I wanna show you behind the flat bottom steering wheel in this RS track. Hi guys, business time, and you know what? Lots of room in here, lots of space. I'm six feet tall, lots of comfort from these seats. Easy to figure out seat controls, but like I said, it would have been nice to at least have electric for the driver. What they did was they give you a unique steering wheel, two piece leather with the stitching, flat bottom with that carbon flash metallic, just like that's on the door panels on the steering wheel, the blacked out bow tie. It is manual til tilting and telescoping wheel. And then you have that nice clear eight inch display that shows all the graphics. And you could actually change from four different displays. And I'm so glad that they give a gauge 
hood to keep the sun and glare off of that screen. But why don't we go ahead, let's get in the back seat and see if your passengers are gonna be loving this RS track. Right, guys, great news in this back seat area. Tons of room. You do have a pocket, which is really nice, where you could keep uh, maybe an abacus, maybe a mirror so your kids could stare at themselves while they're doing their social media and uh, being a, a social influencer. You do have your USB-C, USB-A, and a place where easily you could put, I would say, two to three Tangelos. As long as they're not too big, it'll fit perfectly there. Nice flat floor, nice seat material, just like up front. And the one zonk, the major zonk, is that there's no rear armrest. But they gave you all the same great red stitching and the red in the center. I think the one thing that's missing would be the red seat belts for an additional extra five horsepower. But why don't we go ahead, let's get in the cargo area because we're gonna drive this tracks today. Right, guys, cargo area time. Hit the button, no electric assist, but it's not very heavy at all. What you're gonna be greeted to is a nice, large amount of space, not only for if you're going on a trip and you got your luggage, but also for a ton of other items. What you're looking at with the seats up, 25.6 cubic feet of space, fold the seats down, it's over 54 cubic feet of space. And what I love about it is that you have a nice width. So if you're going to Costco and you're getting that big old barrel of pickles that you love to get once a year, you could get your big barrel, 50 gallon drum of pickles in here. Watch this though. So like I said, we start in that 20, little over 20 cubic feet of range, and we're now gonna maximize it to 54 cubic feet of range. One zonk is that I have to come over here to do it. So with that, security shade in the way I can't get very easily to the buttons to press them to fold down the seats but if you look once they're down you really have a large amount of room and I want to remind you it's not just the depth it's also the width which is very nice and it's pretty much flat so nice to see that but you know what the twisty bits are calling my name I could hear it right now if you're ready I'm ready Let's go for a fun drive in the new tracks. All right, guys, we are in this 2024 redesigned Chevy Trax. This is that sporty RS trim. And what's great is, is that being in North Carolina here, we have a super curvy road because Chevrolet wanted to show that it's not just about a blacked out grill or some sporty appearance add-ons to the interior they have gone through the chassis to really try to make this a very composed very enjoyable vehicle to drive not just a vehicle to get you to from point a to point b and so far on this twisty bit of road i'm really feeling good with what the tracks is bringing especially compared to the previous generation now this isn't a performance model per se, because remember, RS stands for Rally Sport. It's more of a sport appearance package, but like I was saying, they made sure that on the RS especially was to tune the suspension and the chassis to really give you some nice feedback to the wheel. Also, when it comes to where that torque delivery is. And that's one thing that you can say whatever you want about the 1.2 liter turbocharged inline three in this vehicle say whatever you want about the size the power whatever the torque curve is super linear and super just a nice straight diagonal line there's no dips there's no bumps nothing like that and that really is going to help as you're driving the vehicle no matter if you're on a twisty road or driving to and from school or work or whatever to feel very very composed and have that good linear feedback even though it is a turbocharged engine but visibility is great and because of the longer wheelbase and because of the wider track it allows the vehicle to be more stable i mean i'm able to take my hand off the steering wheel and use my hands to talk like we do here on radies rides and i i'm i feel really really confidence inspired and very very composed which is great so that really is some of that extra feel that you have when you're behind the wheel 
of this vehicle. And I think another thing that's great is, is that no matter what trim you go with, with the tracks, all of them have noise cancellation systems for the interior. So what does that mean? That means you're not gonna get a lot of that harshness outside of the vehicle coming in. All right, guys, now believe it or not, even though this has less horsepower than last gen's tracks, zero to 60 has been dropped by a second. Now, it's not lightning fast, but let's see how it goes. Our throttle, pretty good traction. On the brakes, into this nice right-hand bend. This is where I, I don't care what vehicle I'm driving, it's fun to drive these roads. Now, I do like the way this has that six-speed automatic transmission rather than a CVT like a lot of the competition has. And then the feedback to the wheel is just really, really nice. And I think that's the biggest thing, you know, especially if you're comparing this to a Honda HRV. HRV is going to be a little smaller, even though they're both subcompacts. And HRV has that CVT and naturally aspirated four cylinder inline four. Whereas this has the turbocharged plant with the six speed automatic. But the steering actually feels really, really great. And there's no modes, which I kind of enjoy i feel like sometimes we get overwhelmed with all these modes they got 34 different modes and they basically do the same thing here it's just you fire it up and you go but as you can see i'm not white knuckling the steering wheel i got great visibility to see my way through this twisty section of road and it just feels really smooth and, and balanced i think that's the biggest takeaway and all of that is because of the way that you have that longer wheelbase that's gonna incre increase your just straight line stability. And then of course the wider track, that space in between the wheels front and rear, that's gonna help with your cornering and that type of stability. But very nice and smooth, very composed. Seats are comfy without being too squishy or anything like that. I think the other thing that I'm really enjoying about driving this new tracks is just, you know, for those longer commutes, it's just very, very comfortable the way everything is organized. You have that driver focused inf infotainment system and just the way that it handles and how smooth it drives for the type of car that it is, the type of vehicle that it is, is going to cut down on your overall stress, not only to you mentally, but also to your body as well. But going into this right-hand sweeper, holds a line nicely. And I think that's the thing I'm really enjoying is that compared to the Honda HRV, I feel like the way that this is handling, they did a really, really good job with it. Kind of cool right now is I'm chasing this other tracks in front of me. So you could really get a look at what the vehicle looks like from behind, definitely, from the previous generation, it looks a world in, in a totally different direction. And, uh, and I'm glad that Chevy decided to really change things up for this, uh, for this new tracks. But like I said, even on the longer stretches of straight road, the compliance with the uh, chassis and the suspension is very well done. And what I'm noticing so far, without having the sunroof, there's not a lot of glare as of right now where the sun is coming off the gloss black because that's the one thing that I'm just still on the fence about is how much more gloss black is on the dash in the RS compared to the active or the other trims like the LT. But being able to just look down at a glance and see exactly the information that I want, the information that I need is very welcomed because you don't have to search all over the place and, and focus on the road, even though you don't have a head up display. And then the fact that your passengers now are gonna be more comfortable with more room, uh, more passenger volume back there, especially with that nice flat floor that they did because this was never meant to be an all wheel drive vehicle. 
So there's no reason to have that drive shaft tunnel go through to the rear to power the rear wheels. It's one of those vehicles that if you're lucky enough to live in an area where you have a road like this, like it's really fun to drive and it's not breaking your wallet, which is the biggest part, I think. For this to be now the entryway, not only into Chevrolet, but also all the GM brands, like this really has a great value to it, no matter what trim that you go with. And that really allows you to, uh, to spend your money more wisely, but yet still get something for your money. I think that's the one thing that, uh, that you find I think that's the one thing that you find, and thank, thankfully that's what you do. If you're holding up somebody on a twisty road, just pull over and use uh, a little pullover area. It allows everybody to get along with, the, with their business, and my business is cutting the twisty bits. That's what I love to do. But definitely, this road, <laughs> this is what I see in my dreams every freaking night. Would like to be in a my Camaro Z011LE or something like that, but you know what? Beggars can't be choosers. I think one thing I'm noticing is that as I'm driving on the twisty road is that there's not a lot of, um, you know, there's not a lot of, what's the word I'm looking for? There's not a lot of places where I feel like the transmission is searching through the gearbox. And, and that's a, a nice sign. You know, the six speed, I know a lot of people be like, well, why didn't they use an eight? Why didn't they use a 10? Why didn't they use a 24? I think for this vehicle, six speed is totally fine. And you're getting that great fuel economy. So, I mean, there's no argue with uh, extra gears would give you more fuel economy per se. But I like the way the gearbox is not chasing through the gears as we're going through this twisty bit section. Would be nice on the RS. I think one zonk I'm gonna give it when it comes to a driving perspective is I would like some paddles. I would like some paddles on the back of the steering wheel to shift or at least use the shifter. You don't have either option in this vehicle. So just something to think about. But other than that, this is fun. Brakes feel good. Steering is where it's at. The steering is really being nice and balanced. And like I said, I think from a handling standpoint, the HRV communicates a little bit more through the steering wheel. But I think overall, the way that this has a wider track than the HRV and a longer wheelbase than the HRV allows it to actually handle better, if that makes sense. Hi guys, it's been a fun, twisty bit kind of day out here in Asheville, North Carolina. Definitely want to thank the whole Chevrolet team for getting us access to this 2RS level trim of the all new tracks. Let me know what you think. Has Chevy done enough to make this a standout, not only from the price point, but also for what you're getting for the price compared to the Honda HRV? Let me know in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. Of course, we need to give it up to the man with the camera, the man with the hat, and the man with the muscles. Stephen Flood, Stephen Flood Photography. Show him some love in the comment section. Thank you, Stephen, for all that you're doing. Just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.